Hey y'all, let me tell y'all how excited I am about getting out the house today. Uh, I've been in the house a lot, but this is what I'm excited about. I'm excited because our car wash is open. We had things opening up on May the 1st, and I didn't think that the car wash was on the list of somewhat essential but it has been essential for me <laughs> and i'm just glad to be out the house today is 80 my vehicle says 86 degrees it's beautiful it's sunny and i'm just glad to be out the house so i just wanted to let y'all see what brings it it just brings me joy i hope you are are doing great So check it out. I'm about to go into um, Kroger's to get the few items that I actually left the house for. I wanted to get a ride in on this beautiful day. I have not been out of the house, I think, since last weekend. So I took a ride. It was a nice ride. The sun has been out. Um, I got all excited, as you saw, about going to the car wash because um, I thought oh it was something that felt normal um, but then I took a ride um, I have been riding with these items in the back seat for weeks um, to drop off to the um, Goodwill but the Goodwill is not accepting items right now because their store is not open and they can't properly go through things and sort and clean and um so i went to two different ones um uh, one they had the whole um driveway blocked off where you couldn't get into it but then i knew that there was one with a truck behind the store and a big plaza but when i rolled around the truck was closed some people left some things under the truck but then i saw this sign that showed that well that specifically said please do not leave items so i thought i can ride around with the items um for a couple more really days around here because our um stores are supposed to open up on the 12th today is the second so we're talking 10 days i can be patient I'm not trying to cause more work for somebody else or a mess i don't want my a gift if you will to become someone's mess so I'm about to go in the store hoping that I can find everything that I need in this store so I don't have to go into another store um, 
because if I do, it's going to be Walmart. And I don't know why, but I'm trying to stay out of Walmart. I'm trying to think if I've been in that store since all this has happened. And I don't think I have. So anyway, you all have a good day. And I hope this weekend is um, doing you well, doing you some good. Get the sun while you can. I think later today is supposed to rain where I am. And um, so I'm glad that I got out in it. I had to kind of push myself to get out the door. Um, I take my time these days. I'm not rushing and I'm not going to rush when I go in this store. I do have this homemade mask that I made um, from a sock. A sock cutting and then on the inside of it, it has a paper towel um, folded. I put a clean, it's the second time I'm, I'm using it and I put a clean paper towel on the inside. I want to make a mask from the t-shirt method that I saw on YouTube. So I'll, I think I'll do that. I think they look better. They look more like a regular mask. Um, more like the kind that we're used to wearing. These types. Um, so I'm going to make a few of those. And I did order some masks. Takes weeks and weeks for those things to come in. But they're mainly ordered for our barbershop. So when it opens, we'll have um, extras to be able to provide to the clients when they come in and, and if the barbers need some as well. So, okay, I'm not going to hold you all. This time I am actually going into the store. We don't, we don't do that. You know what I mean? I apologize about that. You have a good day. Get off my car. End of the day. On the patio. Can't nobody tell us nothing.